Hey, thanks for watching GearWire. We are on the floor of Music Mess 2007, and we're in the SPL booth. And we're here with Ralph Riker, the uh, designer of the uh, transducer system that is uh, an interesting, really interesting uh, new uh, signal path for guitar players to use uh, the uh, distorted amplifier signal from their uh, heads uh, and uh, use it, uh, plug it straight into a recording system. Ralph, uh, welcome to GearWire. Oh, you're welcome. Well, the transducer is... Uh it's a complete whole system for uh, simulating uh, speaker cap and microphone signals. So you can go up to 200 watts. This can handle up to 200 watts uh, from your head or from from a, a combo as well. So uh, you go straight into the transducer or with the power amp uh, signal. Have the opportunity to choose membrane action. What the speaker action, it's like the uh, speaker cone behavior, uh, so you can get some uh, kind of speaker kind of distortion. Uh, for example, if you like the old style Neil Young tone and you want to use an old blackface uh, deluxe reverb, you can get this very sparky and muddy sounding uh, voicing of a, of a, of a yeah, distorting speaker, like an old Jensen. Um, then you have uh, possibility to change between open and closed back cabinets. Um, if you want to use something like um, an old Fender sound, you can use a sparky uh, open back sound. It's like an uh, Alnico um, uh, Jensen tone. If you want to have it more like a keramic one from the late 60s, it's, it's the mellow one. If you use the closed, it's green back for Sparky and it's a vintage 30 for uh, the Mellow. So this is just the, the cap side. <clears throat> On the other side we have this uh, miking level, what means if you want to get something like Linkin Park, this l very uh, heavy distorted sounds like an uh, overdriven microphone, you can get it with this miking level. We have <clears throat> the chance to uh, choose a dynamic like an SM57 uh, Shure microphone or an uh, U87 from uh, Neumann. It's like these parameters we, we, we choose for this switch. And then it's uh, the close and the ambient miking. So close means very near to the speaker and ambient a little bit uh, away from this. Output gain just for the control to the FOH mixer or the stage mixing or in the studio if you want to go straight to very cheap uh, or expensive, by the way. Um, um, recording, uh, recording setup, yeah. Sure, sure. So, um, I'm gonna use it live for. Uh, you have the chance to go through to uh, speaker through to your cap uh, with minus 8 dB, so you can uh, uh, work with your uh, power amp distortion. Um, I'm going out from uh, the line out to an old Intellifex to two very small. Um, active monitoring systems so I got a very easy uh, to handle and for a transfer it's very uh, important it's a very lightweight uh, dry wet wet system for a small clubs or something so um, the most important thing is all analog so you have no latency at all so it's uh, very easy to stack guitars if you play very he heavy kind of guitars you just have to play two and have a big wall of great sound and um, if you want to listen into the playback what kind of sound do you prefer it's very easy because you have just 16 versions of different settings of the switches and after that you have with the membrane with the speaker action and the miking level uh, a lot of parameters are up where they stand so you, you can get what you want and always what you hear is what you get so it's possible to play, um, you, you, you can get controlled feedbacks, like an original uh, or a real speaker cap. Um, we have a special kind of transformer in it, and there are, from this transformers you can get these harmonics you need for these controlled feedbacks. So it's very easy and it sounds real. Well, that's about, uh, that's about all you would need, I would think, in order to have uh, an expectation that when you plug a guitar into a desktop system that you can get uh, a live sound out of it. That's right, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.